Well, only if there's rocks. If there's good rocks, then go ahead and hit that. Bryce Maxwell and crew have become adept at flipping rocks. Ideally, what you want to do is flip the rocks so the rocks between you and the animal, but in some cases that's not possible. It's a hog nose. It's a hog nose. They're trying to get a better idea of Montana's lesser known reptiles. And the bottom line is, uh, you know, we just basically need to have a we need to have a basic understanding of their status and distribution, and that's what we're out doing is trying to, you know, understand that distribution and status a little better. Here's a tadpole for you. They are also looking for amphibians in eastern Montana's temporary water body. These ponds come alive at night during the mating season. See his vocal pouch sticking out? Look at it. It's so impressive. Through their surveys, they're finding there is a lot of interest in Montana's lesser known animals. That's part of the reason people live in Montana is so that they uh, can experience the animals and plants around them. And they're telling us as we're going around and doing these surveys, I really want to know about this information. They want to know about the amphibians we're seeing, the reptiles we're seeing, the bats we're seeing. That's a long-eared myotis. See how long the ears are? Winston Greeley. Just incredibly, this is like the most muscular activity that they do. Out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.